You like spending money? Um, clearly not. Not particularly. <laughs> Take a look inside Eminem's extravagant mansion. Slim Shady has some not-so-slim pockets as it seems. The world-famous rapper, widely known as Eminem, built one of the biggest rap empires of all time, and he has a mansion that shows it. Growing up in poverty, Eminem has come a long way since his childhood growing up in 767 square foot house in Detroit that the rapper's mother purchased for only $19,000. I used to stay right down the block. I'm with, I'm with the NI. Dresden. Let's take a look at the ultra-lavish homes of Eminem and why they are considered to be some of the most extravagant celebrity mansions out there. With a net worth of a quarter of a billion dollars, it doesn't surprise us that Eminem has had homes that rival most homes. But the rapper is actually known to be somewhat financially responsible. He doesn't blow money on private jets or sports teams. And rather than living in ultra-pricey Los Angeles, he chose to put his roots down in his home state of Michigan, growing up just outside of Detroit. We all know how fond Eminem is of the city that has inspired so many of his songs. So you're a Detroiter for life. Yeah, in Detroit for life. So when it came to buying homes, it's no wonder the rapper landed there. In 2003, Eminem bought a 15,129 square foot mansion in the wealthy Rochester Hills suburb of Detroit, one of the safest towns in the state. It's a far cry from the dangerous area Eminem grew up in. The sprawling six bedroom, nine and a half bathroom estate is heavily secure with the guardhouse and top level security. It also hosts a hugely impressive trophy room that is bigger than the rapper's modest childhood home. Good thing, because Eminem has won many awards including 15 Grammys throughout his lucrative music career. I just want to thank everybody, all the producers who, who helped me put this record together and everybody who played a, a vital part in it. The home also features luxurious custom wood details and the enormous entryway, immediately stunning visitors who walk through the huge front doors. It is truly a house fit for a rap king. But prior to the rapper taking ownership of the mansion, it was known as the Kmart Mansion. That's because the former chairman of Kmart, Charles Conaway, once owned the immensely impressive home. The mansion's exterior is just as if not more, impressive than the interior of the home. Set on a sprawling 5.6 acres, it has a lavish swimming pool with a twisting slide and waterfalls, a spa, tennis and basketball courts, and even a private pond. We imagine it's impossible to get bored of this place. The estate also has a huge 4,000 square foot garage, which comes in handy for Eminem's tremendous car collection, which includes a $400,000 Lamborghini and a $200,000 Porsche. But the Kmart mansion isn't the only mansion the rapper has owned. Eminem has bought a $1.5 million mansion in Clinton Township, just outside of Detroit in 2000. Do you like spending money? Um, clearly not. Not particularly. <laughs> Comparatively slightly more modest than the Kmart mansion, this is the rapper's main house, which he still owns. The luxurious estate is in a private gated community and features high quality custom built features, including beautiful crown moldings, etched glass doors, and a spectacular pool with a tropical garden. And if that's not enough to make you drool, it also hosts a 5.5 car garage, providing the rapper with a ton of space for all of his toys. When it comes to real estate, Eminem's decision to purchase mansions in Michigan was quite the wise move, as these homes would cost nearly 10 times more in places like Los Angeles or New York. It is clear that Eminem is a loyal guy, and when he considers a place home, he doesn't stray too far from it. After all, the rapper got his start in Detroit, releasing his first album through Detroit label Web Entertainment, before eventually being discovered by Dr. Dre. So what's next on the rapper's list when it comes to purchasing residences? It looks as though the rapper might be settled with what he already has, though he could certainly afford to have residences in various places. His love for Detroit Detroit is simply too much to bring him elsewhere. If only everyone were that loyal. And if you're wondering what happened to Eminem's childhood home, sadly, it is no longer standing after a fire destroyed it in 2013, making it uninhabitable. Luckily, Eminem has his mouth-watering pads to hold on to these days.